Okay, so Meta just released the third iteration of their segment anything model, which can not only detect and segment objects from images and videos, but can now track them using simple text prompt. So with this release, they're building on top of their two iterations. And it's great to see that we are seeing open weight, which are predictive models, not only generative, like LLM and generative media. These models have very important practical applications, especially when it comes to data set creations, because computer vision based data set can be extremely expensive and time consuming to create. With this model, you can now have visual input where you can select an item or object in the image, and then the SAM model is able to expand that throughout the video sequence and detect similar objects for you. But I'm glad that Meta is still releasing open weight models after what happened with the Llama 4. So this is segment anything model, which is a unified model for detection, segmentation, and tracking of objects and images and videos using text, examplars, and visual prompts. I'll show you where you can test out the model. The weights are publicly available on Hugging Face. And there are a number of different platforms where you can test the model. But let's first understand how it works. So you have your image encoder and along with the text encoder that will be used to detect objects. But if you want to track objects in videos, then it uses a concept of memory bank where it keeps track of the different objects that it has segmented and seen and then use a trackers to update their location. That way, the model is able to simultaneously track multiple objects in a video sequence. But they also released a SAM3 3D model, which can take an input image or a video sequence. It can detect objects, segment them, and then can create 3D models, which is really interesting. And this opens up so many new possibilities. This model is also open weight and you can use it in your own applications. Now image segmentation used to be a very hard problem. There were dedicated models such as a good old UNet, but now a single model can not only generate segmentation masks, but also you can use the same model to create 3D models. Now they are also open sourcing a video data set that is going to be publicly available and hopefully people are going to build on top of it. So the model itself is state of the art for a number of different tasks, including segmentation of concepts, visual segmentation, and counting of objects and images. But the great thing is you can just try out the model if you are interested. So they also released a new playground where you can play with the models. This is called Segment Anything Playground. There are a number of different demos that are available. So you just upload a file. It uses a model to detect different objects. You select one of those, you can apply different effects and then share it with people if you want. So let me show you a few videos and later in the video, I'll show you a notebook that you can use for your own applications if you want to deploy this model locally. So the first one is video cutouts. So I'm going to select some of their own examples. So we're going to select this. It's about eight second video. Two different teams are playing a soccer game. Now, in order to track an object in a video, you will need to start at the first frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. Then if you go here, I think they use another model to detect objects. Either you can select something from here or provide your own prompt. But let's try to track this soccer ball. Now it detects it in the current frame. So if you just keep going, it only tracks or detects it in the single frame. But you can ask it to search for that object in the entire sequence. And now you can see that it's detecting the same object in the whole video, which is pretty awesome. And it does a really, really good job at it. You can also select objects by clicking on them. So for example, here we selected this person. Now I think it will probably have trouble tracking that person because if you can see in the 
later part of the video, it simply switched to another player. But I think it's detecting players with white jersey. But actually, if you see here, it doesn't detect this person or segment it properly, right? So there probably needs to be some fine tuning. Now, if you want to work with images, it does that as well. So for example, if I select one of the demo image, we can, let's say, ask it to detect all the zebras. Now, the great thing here is that if there are multiple different objects of the same class present, you just describe one of them and it's able to detect all of them, right? So here you can do, you can see that it detected all the different zebras and segmented them. Now, in this case, I uploaded one of my own thumbnails and I think it detected chalkboard, chalk eraser, black hoodie and a man. So if you click on the man, it detects that. We can uh, click on the whiteboard, it detects that as well. All right, and then we can potentially add another object. This is going to be one of the chalks. And then on top of that, you can add some effects if you want to share this. For example, here are different effects that are present, right? Now, these are going to be pretty great if you want to share them on social media. But the neat one is this create 3D scenes. So, for example, I can select one of the demos. Now, in here, you can click on different objects. I think it's just walking me through a tutorial. All right, so if we click on different objects, this is going to segment those objects from the scene. And if you click on generate 3D, it's supposed to create a 3D model for those. Okay, and I think it does a pretty decent job at it. Now, on the sofa, I think we did not select these pillows in the ball, so that's why it didn't include those, but overall, not bad at all. You can also create 3D body, bodies. So, for example, if you select a person and then click on Generate All People, this basically create a 3D pose or 3D model in the same pose as the person. There are going to be some very interesting applications that you can build on top of this model. There are some other example demos as well. So for example, you can do bonding boxes with this model. This is There is a template that you can try. So for this template, it's going to draw bonding boxes uh, around people. Now here's another one, which is simple mask. And these type of things are useful for computer vision data sets, right? The beauty of this is that you can select one object and then it will be able to expand it to similar objects across the video sequence. So you don't really have to worry about spending a lot of time on data set creations anymore. Now, here's one example. We are tracking all of the different vehicles in the scene. So now I asked it to just track the license plate numbers. And you can see that it does a pretty decent job. Now it is creating that motion trail. There are some other pretty neat templates as well. So for example, this one lets you blur faces. And the neat idea is that you can tell it to track human faces and then apply different effects. So these are some very interesting applications that people will be able to build on top of segment anything model version three because it gives you a lot more control compared to the previous iterations, just because you can do not only text prompts, but also visual prompts. So what if you want to build on top of this model? So I'm sharing this notebook from RoboFlow, which is a great company. They're not sponsoring this video, but it's a company with a platform that lets you create different data sets. So in this case, the models are available on Hugging Face. You need to provide your Hugging Face token. These models are still gated models, so you will need to accept terms and conditions from Meta. Also, you need a high capacity GPU. So right now we're using A100. It's not going to work on the T4 GPU. Okay, so first we install the different packages that are required. Then here we are loading the model, so it's going to download the weights. Now in here, there is an example video that we are providing to the model. We are extracting different frames, right? Now, as I said, you need text prompts in order for this to work. So here is a frame from the video and we asked it to track jets in our case. And then here we are visualizing the mask. Now we asked it to just track jets. It is able to track or segment all of them. So here there's a result. It counted five different jets in this scene. 
and then we apply those masks to the entire video so here is how the output looks like now there is some really interesting things happening in this video if you look at jet number five it goes out of the frame and then come comes back but the model is still really great at segmenting it and it's able to track that even though there is some occlusion in this video for that specific object this is going to be also available in the edits app from instagram video creation app i think it opens up a lot of different possibilities especially you can easily integrate this into your own existing workflows and i'm really glad that meta is still open sourcing these models anyways do let me know what you think i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching and as always see you in the next one